Hello, my name is Tatiana and I will show you how to use Virtu Forms. Virtu Forms is a simple and convenient tool that will allow you to create custom forms for your SharePoint list. To start using it, you will need to install Virtu Forms on the SharePoint server. And for that, you will need SharePoint admin permissions. If you don't have them, please ask your admin to do that for you. And since the Virtu Form is installed, you can just go to the list and launch Virtu Forms. When it's launched, you will see a short dialog that will highlight the most important things and we will go over them. First, you'll need to pick the form to edit and I will edit the edit form. And then, on the left part, you can see the list of the fields. This is the list of the fields that I have in my SharePoint list. This is the data I already have. And below is uh, basic controls, but this is a thing that can be used as a lay layout option. And uh, for example, I can use sections, create different sections, and for that I would use uh, accordion. But honestly, I prefer the tabs, and I will drag them here. For every control, I can rename it, I can set the permissions, and for example, I can make the tab read-only for anyone but me. Then I can drag data inside of these tabs. For example, I will add status priority, description, and something else on the different tab. And I probably want to have a full name, form name. I can edit every field on that list, on that form. I can rename it, change this, the size of the text, make it bold, italic, change the color, control the bits, and I can also control the permissions. Advanced users can also use the code here. Starting with JavaScript, you can apply the JavaScript to the form. You can add CSS, so change the appearance of your form. You can add HTML blocks into this form. Uh, it can be just anything. You, you copy and paste code here. And you can add button buttons. And uh, you would need to have a code for that because uh, the button shall do something and this code will define what the button will, uh, will do on your form. When everything is done, you will need to publish the form. But before, you can do a preview. Press the preview button and uh, please be aware, sometimes your browser will block the pop-ups. And this is a preview of my form then I can publish the form. Please pay attention to what you publish. There is an edit form, new form and display form and these checkboxes are created in case you work on three forms simultaneously and you only want to publish one. And right now I only want to publish edit form but I only have an edit form here. So I publish the form. And here you can see my new edit form for this SharePoint list and I'm totally happy with it. And you can remember it just took me a couple of minutes to create it. So thank you for your time. Bye bye.